Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Losing My Religion by R.E.M. So obviously this track is dominated by a mandolin throughout a lot of it. So we can't really play those parts and the chords as well. So we're going to really uh, take uh, a look at the chords that are happening underneath that mandolin on the acoustic guitar that's going throughout the entire song. Um, and then I'll show you little ways you can make it sound like the mandolin part with the guitar as well. Um, now let's start here with just this intro and then I'll show you a little variation you can do it make it sound kind of like you're playing with a mandolin. So we're going to start with the F. So it's a full bar at the first fret and then a second fret on the G and then third fret on the D and the A. To the G chord and then an A minor. Then repeat those three chords again. And you're going to end it back down here on the G. Now what about the rhythm? Now we're going to start here on this F. So it goes one, two, and then dun. So you're going to start on the one, then two. You're going to play the up, down, up, starting on the end of the second beat. So we have this. And after that, you can just kind of strum through. So we have this. And you get to the G, just down, up, down, up. And then you get to the A minor, and you do the same thing. So we have basically this. Down, up, down. Just like that. So basically, if you can see what my arm's doing, if you don't know really strumming technique, we have down, I miss an upstroke, miss another downstroke, and then I start strumming again. Go so this. So it's important to keep that, mo that motion going in the arm, even though you're missing a couple of the strokes intentionally, you want to keep the rhythm going. All right, so now you can make that sound kind of like the mandolin part if you do something like this. So that's a little bit tricky, but I'm doing that little mandolin melody, but you're doing it down, down an octave. So we have this third fret on the G, I'm sorry, third fret on the B string, open high E, back to the uh, third fret on the B, and back to the second fret on the G. So that's the melody we're playing with this, and then you jump to that F. And when you get to the G this time, play it, you can you know play it like this if you want. You can basically just pick up the uh, pinky and you uh, you're gonna want to instead of playing it with a full G you're gonna move this down here to the second fret on the G and then you have you can strum across the chords and do kind of the same thing and then we're to the A minor and then you do the same thing on the A minor by just putting your pinky at the third fret on the B and so you keep doing that right before the chord change. So it's a bit of a challenge. Uh, so if you don't want to do it, just strum the chords. It sounds fine too. Then we get to the verse, which sounds like this.
just repeat those chords again. So it's a pretty simple chord, it's just an A minor. So that's just down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now what I'm doing while I'm playing that is I'm once again trying to emulate the mandolin part, an octave lower. I'm just going, picking up the second finger, I'll have to open D, and then back. So it's got this going. And you do the down, up, down, up. And then you go down to the E minor chord, and when you do it, it's an overdub on the recording, but you want to do a nice little glide down with the pick. And the same strumming pattern. Back to the A. So it's just A minor and E. So after you've gone back and forth between those two chords three times, then you switch to a D minor. You can play a D minor. I play it with my pinky. You can play it with your third finger if you want. Followed by a G. And then you're back to the the same chords, the same uh, chords we just went through, the same eight chords. Just repeat, so it does, it's done twice. And the next verse is the same way. So it's a pretty long verse. All right, and now we get to the uh, chorus of the song, which is exactly like the intro. back to that G and then it takes us back to the verse. Now the last time you hear that chorus, um, they just extend the, the F, G to the A minor. They'll just keep repeating that quite a few times before they go back to the G. All right, so it's the same chord you already know, just, you know, played a different amount of times. All right, so now we also have, um, when it kind of is a breakdown section where there's a little bit of a mandolin solo there, um, we have this. Goes back to the verse. All right, so that's no rhythm here. We're just strumming each chord once. We're gonna start with A minor. To G, to that F, back to the G, then C, D major, and C to D again. That takes us back to the verse. All right, now, so that's all the, the, the chords. You're going to see these parts a few times in the song, but at the end, we do have a mandolin part by itself, which is really cool. And it sounds like this. I'll just look, uh, show it to you on the guitar since we have nothing else to really do. All right, so that'd be cool to end it like that, right? So we're going to start here. We're just playing the 12th fret on the high E. It's, it's kind of a doubled thing there. It's, there's a, I guess that's how the mandolin's set up. It's being doubled by a note an octave lower, but we're just gonna play the, as a single melody line. And then it goes 12, 10, eight, over to 10 on the B string. And then back to 10 on the high E string, eight, back to the 10 on the B, back to the eight on the high E, then back to the 10 on the B. All right, so that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.